this patient. He is a 55 years old male, known case of diabetes since one and a half years. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, he has no history of the cardiac, uh, no cardiac history. Background. But he has com come with a complaint of shortness of breath, uh, shortness of breath, uh, orthopnea, PND, and uh, pedal edema from the eight days. Just eight days of shortness of breath, yeah. PND, orthopnea, and pedal edema as well. Edema as well. Okay. And patient EF is 25%. What was the examination at the time of presentation? Rough examination finding. Uh, at the time of presentation, he is a bilateral crepes. So let's see if you have such patient in front of you who is really giving you a suggestion of pulmonary once you have SOB with orthopnea and PND. That always really guide you towards an SOB which is secondary to cardiac issues. So let's see you don't have echo available. So how you proceed in this patient in your examination to validate one thing that are you really dealing with pulmonary edema or any alternative cause? And second, your examination objective should be to assess etiology behind it, aggravator behind it as well. So what things roughly you will look for in examination? If you have history of this kind, if, let's see this patient is coming to you in OPD. Orthopnea, PND, progressive increasing SOB, resting tachypnea as well. So how will you proceed? Uh, so I'll give you a clue. Let's start with pulse. So what you will look for in this particular patient pulse? Uh, I will uh, want to see this in the pulse is the irregular rhythm. So arrhythmias, Arrhythmia. sinus or any rhythm issue. Even sinus, normal rate or tachycardia. That will give you an idea about patient clinical status at that particular moment, especially when you're sitting in OPD. So rate yeah. rhythm anything else can you get any idea from the pulse regarding etiology <clears throat> anyone pulse. different pulse characteristics which relate to different valvular Valve. problems high volume slow rise he's a middle to old age patient can it be a to aortic stenosis coming for the first time with pulmonary edema yeah. with some aggravator which were they aren't there pre-existingly like increased water salt intake that has tipped, tipped him into so pulse for everything rate rhythm characteristics then same applies to blood pressure sometimes i rough recently have called for a patient who had an atypical kind of chest pain then sob and then he found to have aortic dissection middle to old age hypertensive patient so blood pressures both oh, hands that was the only picking sign in that particular patient he developed ar secondary to that that led to pulmonary edema otherwise that dissection was a subacute kind of unnoticed chest pain when you dig out and ask what happened bhai thoda sa seene mein aur piche ek dard sa gaya tha that's it and that led to ar and ultimately presented with pulmonary so this pulmonary edema issue, it relates to everything which which really causing issues to your LV. And that you have to think of. So let's start from any pathological issues in relation to anatomies. Starting from your aorta. Let's see from here. So what are the causes which can lead to pulmonary edema? Starting from aorta. Yeah. Or even systemic circulation. What's the reason in systemic circulation can lead to pulmonary edema? Hypertension. Just hypertension. Increase in blood pressure can lead to? Then after in aorta? In supravalvular? AS, coctation, these are all unnoticed thing and for the first time presenting to you as pulmonary edema, possible. Then come to the valve, aortic stenosis, aortic regurgitation, 
then subvalvular AS, mid cavity obstruction, then come to your myocardium, CMPs, myocarditis, ischemia, anything. Then even mitral valve issues can lead to pulmonary. Anything beyond that or back to pulmonary edema in uh, atria can lead to pulmonary edema. It's rare, but it can. That's I'm just telling you the anatomical sequence. Core triatriatum. Have you ever heard of that? Um, Core okay. triatriatum. It's a septum within LA. This is causing pressures backside. So within LA, you have a membrane or septum which lead to back pressure. And one rare condition is pulmonary vein stenosis. Mm. It's a very rare condition. Everything is okay. Your patient is coming with pulmonary mm. edema. So this is the sequence. This is anatomical sequence of such kind of patient. Who's coming with pulmonary edema for the first time and you don't know. So these things you have to search out in relation to history. Your <laughs> physical abhi hum wahan to gaye nahi hai pericardium. Pe. We are right now just on the but even in pulse, you can get clue of all these things. But these small clues build on each other. And right now, we are just on clinical. No ECG, no X-ray. Now, you think, if you, your mind is working like a chat GPT, that a symptom hai, and your mind started working for the reasons, causes, and you know all the clinical features of those causes, which you are looking in your examination, history, ECG, exe, basic investigation. 90% of the time you will hit the right target. If you go your clinicals like that. So what 